you ever gotten so upset that you just want to vomit, especially at someone over the internet, or a group of people rather? Well, that's how I'm feeling right now. Despite trying to stay very calm about it, it's still a lot to deal with. So hey guys, it's Liz, and welcome back to my channel. I will have promotional stuff at the end of the video, so please stick around for that. However, this video I'm just kind of ranting a bit about some people that I'm seeing online in comment sections talking about how COVID is supposedly not real. Oh dear, this is going to get kind of personal, so bear with me on that. To clarify any misconceptions about this video, this is primarily targeted towards part of the truther community and also towards these celebrities and things of that nature and also just random people that I'm seeing out in public as of late despite numbers rising as far as COVID cases so yeah this is so fun not for now I'm just gonna start with the e-celebrities that are just having parties at the moment if you're not caught up on that, I don't blame you. Most of the time, I don't really care. But sometimes it pops up on my YouTube, thanks to some of the people I subscribe to and some of the videos I watch. If you don't know already, I think it's like Jake Paul and Tana Mogo, or however you say her last name, decided to go for this one party or something, and there are multiple parties with a bunch of underage TikTok stars for their birthdays and all sorts of things, and not only was these parties very tight, is the best word I can describe them, but they were also very, very just close proximity and they didn't even care about their being a pandemic right now while they're in the state of California where that's the highest numbers as far as I know in the United States are. So admittedly I am pretty pissed off about that because not only are they going to these parties but once they get home they transmit stuff to their families and it goes a long way with that which is very Excuse me for yawning. I just had a... My brain is fried from school stuff, so yay. But... It's just really annoying seeing these kids. Well, I say kids, they're probably about my age, which is 19 to probably 25-ish. I don't know. Go out here and purposely get themselves sick knowing that they can get sick. I'm saying sick just as to paraphrase it, which is a lot worse than just a flu, which leads me to my next point of the people that post about COVID not being real, which, oh boy, oh boy. I see these comments a lot and I see them on a lot of right-wing posts, some of which that I do follow on Instagram, and it's just kind of like, y'all are really that stupid to come out of your way to be like, oh, it's not anything, it's just a hoax. Meanwhile, people are dying, people are being hospitalized, it's a whole slew of things. And the worst part about it is that this virus is very, what's the word, I'm trying to think, sorry. This virus is actually just very unpredictable. And it really bothers me because as someone who's, my mother got it, my uncle, whom I have to take care of, got it, he has Downs, and then their older brother also got it. And recently passed from it. So that has been really hard on us lately. And just trying to get my uncle to understand that his old brother is gone is very troubling 
to say the least, because he doesn't believe it, and I'm not going to get into family drama, but now he won't really understand that his brother is gone, because there's no nothing for him to actually be able to see. So, that's, that's really heartbreaking for our end. Other than that, you also have people, like I went into Dollar General with my dad just to pick up some stuff, and these people, like the signs outside, there's probably like three signs outside, and multiple poor pillar in the Dollar General that's close by to us has the sign saying that, face <sighs> masks are required and these group of people obviously from the same family I'm assuming they all kind of had like similar facial features but it was just kind of like they did not have a mask on and they kept on getting extremely close to many people including myself and my dad which already made me uncomfortable because I don't like getting really close to people or tight aisles so that really bothered me personally, especially during the pandemic, where even though I didn't get COVID from my mother or my uncle, I could have easily gotten it from just going to the store, which is very, very extreme. Other than that, it's just kind of like, in my mom's case, she got it from her work, her work she works at a hospital, so it's just like, they aren't prepared to take COVID patients because they are a small hospital. They don't really have much of the PPE stuff that you would usually get. Her work kind of forced her to use the same mask that she got as soon as like the pandemic started, the same mask over and over again when you're really not supposed to use the same in 95 mask over and over again you have to actually replace those much like you have to replace a paper mask or if you have a cloth mask you have to wash them so with that being said like they ended up getting a COVID patient in and her along with many other staff members got COVID I think my mom and another nurse had the worst cases overall my mom had to go to the hospital. Meanwhile, someone else had to go elsewhere to a different hospital, but recovered very quickly. My mother, she stayed in the hospital for a month. And it was pretty troubling just to deal with that because there's also a negligence on the urgent care side of it too, where they didn't provide the test results in time. She was already being severely dehydrated, not eating. By the time she actually got the call that she tested positive for COVID, and it, it really just upset us all. So it's like that Saturday, as soon as like we got that call, we went ahead and took her to the hospital because she wasn't hardly breathing. Her stats were down and all that kind of stuff. So it's just like. She would have tried to be stubborn and stayed at the house she most likely would have died and but my uncle he was feeling starting to feel the same way he recovered very fast whenever he got his which is a good thing for him especially since he has down syndrome you would think if he has down syndrome or any type of respiratory issues like GERD or whatever he would get it bad compared to her but no she was the one who got it pretty bad. I think we kind of got her in the hospital just in time and she's recovering now which is which is the great thing at the moment which I'm very grateful for because it's it's been crazy this year. I hope this year year the ends on a good note for the most part especially with how everything's going. I know so far my classes are going smoothly, but with math and stuff like that, since it's like a, well, it is like college, college algebra, but we're working out of a pre-cal book, so it's really just exhausting. 
as far as problems to do and the system for it. But anyway, I'm kind of glad that we're doing better right now. I just hope this year ends on a positive note. That That's all I have to say about that. Other than that, um, I guess you all made it to the end of the video, so here's some of the promotional stuff. Instagram account link in description. Check out my Ko-fi page. Feel free to support me on Ko-fi, because that is right now my primary source of income, technically, other than getting commissions and stuff, and that's because I didn't really have a job, and I can't really leave home, so it's just kind of like, please do that. If you want to check it out, you're fine. If you want to donate, that's fine. Either way, I'm chill with it. And that's really it at the moment. I'll be trying to do more videos soon, probably like in between certain periods. But anyway, I am out. See ya.